Jeremiah 24 is set in a time when Nebuchadnezzar has come and taken the people of Israel captive. And God comes and gives Jeremiah a vision. The vision is this. Behold two baskets of figs placed before the temple of the Lord. One basket had very good figs, like first ripe figs, but the other basket had very bad figs, so bad that they could not be eaten. And God asked Jeremiah, what do you see? He said, I see good figs and I see bad figs, two different baskets. Then God says, here's what it means. Like these good figs, so I will regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I have sent away from this place to the land of the Chaldeans. I will set my eyes on them for good and I will bring them back from, to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not uproot them. I will give them a heart to know that I am the Lord and they shall be my people and I will be their God for they shall return to me with their whole heart. But those who are left in Jerusalem, he specifically says Zedekiah, the king of Judah, the remnant who are left in Jerusalem, they are the bad figs. <laughs> in this case, you don't want to be a part of the remnant who get to stay home. See, it's, it's interesting here in this passage because most often in the ancient world, they would interpret those who are taken captive as being those who were under the disfavor of God. Something bad is happening in your life. You're hauled off into captivity. That must mean you did something to make God angry. And yet this parable, this vision that God gives Jeremiah says it's exa the exact opposite. Those who would be looked down upon, those who everyone would say God is punishing, God says those are his people. Those who are living in the land, continuing to dwell in their homes, those who the world would look on as those who are favored by God. Those are the ones God says, their heart is not right with me. See, it's not about your circumstances. It's about your heart. God looks down and it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter how bad, bad things are at. He is looking for those who are willing to turn their hearts towards him. And those <clears throat> who turn their hearts toward him, God says, I will establish them. I will plant them and not uproot them. I will make sure that their future and their hope is secure. That's what God wants to do for you today.